Hello everyone, my name is Luminitsa and today we're going to talk about lies and mainly how to detect a lie like a true FBI. All the tips today are connected to both body language and linguistic, so let's dive in. The first tip is very easy and it says that if a person lies, this person will use more words to answer or talk more than needed. For example, if you ask a person or your partner, did you cheat on me and this person has nothing to hide, he or she will say, no, I didn't. But if your partner has something to hide, a lot of things will come in to this answer. For example, me, no, why would you think so? Yes, no, blah, blah, blah. And we'll just talk a lot around the answer or we'll say no, but then we'll justify like, no, I didn't. You know, like last time when we were out, uh, like every guy was drinking and, and cheating on their boy girlfriends, but I didn't and like talk a lot around it so maybe it's just uh, it's it, maybe do, this person doesn't hide the fact that he cheated or she cheated but it definitely means that this person feels guilty for something and this person overcompensates this feeling and tries to hide something maybe that he or she cheated or that they drank too much or that they flirted with someone and they didn't tell you about that so if a person is, is dishonest um, he or she will try to just overcompensate the lie with a ton of words. This second tip comes from psychology and it says that attacking is the best protection. Meaning, if you ask someone, uh, did you cheat on me? And the person is honest with you, he or she will say no or yes without too many words around. Now, if this person is lying, he or she will try to protect him or herself by attacking you. So you ask, did you cheat on me? And the person will say, me? No, you cheated on me. You went with your girlfriend. You, you, you. Why do you come always to me with, with this kind of questions? Why don't you trust me? You don't trust me. You don't trust me because you cheated on me and so on. So if you ask a question and the person starts to attack you, well, first of all, this person, uh, it means that this person is insecure. If it's insecure about lying or not, there is some um, margin of error, but usually if a person starts to attack you instead of answering, that means that this person lies. Around the third tip, there is a big circle of stereotypes because a lot of people think that if a person lies, he or she will not talk, look at you, but will look around, which might be true actually if this lie was not prepared. Meaning, if your partner comes at home without um, expecting anything worse and you ask, where have you been? Did you cheat on me? And this person was not prepared for this lie, um, then it can happen that um, this person or your partner doesn't look straight into the eyes not because he's feeling guilty, but because he's trying to think of some answers like, uh, where have I been? Oh, I've been to uh, my other partner. So you start to gaze around and think, oh my God, um, I've, been, um, um, I've been gardening at my best friend. And that's the reason why some people, when they lie, don't look into the eyes. But don't get fooled by this. A lot of people lie looking you straight into the eyes and this happens when the lie was prepared. Meaning, if you had um, a bad um, day with your partner and your partner went to a bar and maybe cheated on you, the whole way back maybe he thought of an excuse. So before like before coming to uh, coming home and talking to you, the excuse is or the lie is already prepared. So when you ask, "Do you cheat on me?" This person doesn't have to gaze around and search for answers. This he or she will look you straight into the eyes and say, "No, I was at um, Anna's and I was doing um, her homework," or "No, I was in the library." Just because this person is so confident about what he is saying doesn't mean this is not a lie. In the country, if a person is too focused onto your eyes and is too calm and um, is just too happy with what he said or she said, that can also mean that this person lies. How to detect that? Well, again, if this was unprepared, then the gazing around. If it was 
if it was prepared, ask for as many details as possible because when people prepare a story, they prepare the main plot, but they don't think so much of details. And then you'll see that the person is not prepared and will start to gaze around. To wrap up, in order to detect a lie like a true FBI, you have to notice if the person uses more words or talks more than he or she need to in order to answer, or if this person is not answering but is attacking you instead of that, or again, if it's an unprepared lie, this person will definitely gaze around and look for clues, what to say, and if this lie was very well prepared, then this person will look you straight into the eyes and say you almost the same text again and again. I wish you to never be lied to. If you lie, make sure to make it only for good reasons. You can also click here and here to learn more about communication. Here to be part of my growing community, click on the bell button to always get notified when these kind of videos come up. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye!